I say? Maybe both. How are you? How are you? You okay? Nice to see you. You looking good? Is that fun? We're going to help. Joe, so were you aware of the FA Cup when you were a young boy yes. growing up in Portugal? Yes. Um, you know, um, basically on, on TV, live, like 40, 40 years ago, I would say some Portugal national team matches, some, not all of them, and uh, the FA Cup final. Yeah. Even so, in, just in Portugal? Yeah. 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 So we were waiting, we were waiting one, one year. And uh, even my father, a player at that time, uh, the FA Cup meant a lot for us, you know, and so we, underst we understood, yeah. even abroad, yeah. we understood the meaning. Yeah, because it's, it's quite interesting, because we often think, we always say, you know, the FA Cup is, is so special, etc. But there's a danger of us thinking, well, it's just, it's those English being pompous again, no. and thinking that everything is best that's no, English. But no, I can, I, I can say because I played cups in four different countries, right? Um, you won cups. In yes, it's, it's true. <laughs> and um, and everything is different. Um, in what the, way? Look, people used to say, um, cup is cup. In cup, um, no divisions. Everybody belongs to the same division. In cups, anything is possible. But in fact, it's not true. Why? Because in Portugal, in Spain, in Italy, I can say because I played these yeah. ones, um, the small ones don't think this way. Yeah. This is like a global information, but this is not true. They don't think they can beat the big ones. They don't play to beat the big ones. Um, they, they enjoy the day, but they enjoy in a passive way. Yeah. Not so they're there to make up the numbers. Exactly. So yeah. the what we used to say, the football is for all, belongs to all. In this competition, is eleven against this eleven. Doesn't matter. The giants or the midgets. Only here. Yeah. Only here. Why, why, why do you think it's different here? I think maybe because of the um, of, of 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 the tradition, of the meaning, of uh, the way the competition grew up. Um, also, I think this is the country where um, the difference between Championship, League One, League Two, uh, Conference is is the the country where the difference is you don't feel it so much. Uh, for example, in, in in Spain, you play against a, a third division team. Maybe you did it in Barcelona. Uh, it's is is a huge difference, and uh, the the fact the fact that uh, the 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 clubs they bring so many supporters uh, to the game even if the game is abroad i think creates around the game that situation of neutral pitch you know i i played i think it was my first game in in the cup i don't know if it was my first game in the fa cup but for sure it was my first game in the fa cup at Stamford bridge um at scantorp i couldn't believe <laughs> i couldn't believe because uh all the stand behind one goal, where normally in the championship you have 1,000 opponent fans, was full of Scantorp. They scored before us. <laughs> and I thought, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? What is this? So the atmosphere that they create around the game is amazing. To go away to one of these stadiums, you feel the danger. You feel the danger. I, in the FA Cup, Away against small teams, I, I I didn't had a lot, but I had this season in 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 the um, in the League Cup, Shrewsbury away. Um, they think they can win, yeah. and in fact they can, and in fact they can. So I think this this is the magic of uh, of the FA Cup that you don't have in Italy. In Italy, obviously, in the cup final, uh, the Olympic of Rome is full. But I played, I played the uh, Inter Sampdoria um, semi-finals at San Siro. Ten thousand, 
really? 10,000 people, so it's it looks like it's only the final. Portugal the same, the final is, is a big day, is in Lisbon, 10th of June is the day of the country, but just the finals, but the, the competition, England. Yeah, and I mean, obviously you had the experience this season uh, against Bradford. Fantastic experience. <laughs> really? Fantastic yeah. experience. You think you I'm crazy, but <laughs> if I have to choose two moments of my FA Cup, I choose the final at Wembley mm -hmm. and I choose the defeat against uh, against Really? Them. Why? Yeah. Why is that? Because it because epitomizes it was, what it's all about? Or? Because, yeah. Because it's exactly what, what it is about. I, I, I respect them and I respect the competition. I played the good team, mm. but I put a couple of, of kids, I put a couple of, 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 of boys that are not playing every game and immediately we were in trouble. But we were winning 2-0. And it, it can't happen, can it? Chelsea at home against a team from that division, 2-0 up, you can't lose. You can't lose, <laughs> but you did. And um, when they draw, when they scored the 2-2, the, the in that moment, I didn't have the feeling of uh, I have to win it in, in these 90 minutes because I don't want to go for the second game there. In that moment, my, my feeling was we can lose. Yeah. We can lose because two two, and they and they kept they kept going. They kept enjoying the the, 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 the situation, and I think it was uh, was amazing. In the end of the game, I went to their uh, dressing room, and it helped me of not being so sad <laughs> to see the joy. <laughs> to that see the joy of them yeah. was good for me yeah. because I was obviously very disappointed and, and at the time you said it was you know one of the most embarrassing things ever yeah it's embarrassing it's embarrassing but uh but it's the reality of this uh of this cup and um i i well, i learned a little bit of this with mr robson because um i was a very young assistant and every defeat was for me an absolute nightmare and uh, mr robson used to say you have to think about the happiness in the other dressing room. <laughs> yeah, he's like, Jose, come, this is just a football. Think about the happiness in that dressing room. So at Stamford Bridge, I go to that dressing room <laughs> and I didn't have to think about the happiness. I just was there and, and, and I, I, I live with, with them. So I think absolutely fantastic. You said that you, your greatest moment in FA Cup is obviously winning yeah. it in 2006, yeah. 2007 yeah. against Manchester United. What are your memories of that particular day? You know, I had, uh, I had this, since a kid, I had this, this, this Wembley. Yeah. Um, your Wembley, the Wembley where you, 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 you played so many times, not this one. And, and I was quite frustrated because I was playing uh, finals with Chelsea and Charity Chill and so on and so on, but always in Cardiff. Yeah, this was the first one back at Wembley. You know, I, I was for two consecutive years reaching finals and and never Wembley because Wembley was rebuilding. So that one was like I, I'm not saying an obsession, but we wanted so much. We wanted so much. So to to play there was for me uh, magnificent. And uh, walking out in the tunnel was. Yeah, uh, I I played with. Um, as an assistant with, with Barcelona, I played against Arsenal in the Champions League at the old Wembley. Yeah. For some reason, it was not Ivory, it was, was Wembley. So I, I felt the real Wembley. Um, but this one was, was the first final, was my first final. It was um, at Chelsea, the former champion of England against Man United, the new champion of, of England. Was, was everything together. We don't want Man United to do the double. We want to win the big trophy. We want to win the first final at Wembley. Uh, Chelsea won the last final at the previous uh, Wembley, everything. And one thing I, I, I remember to think was with, with these stairs, you have to win. Because to go there, <laughs> to go there with, with the defeat must, must hurt a lot. So everything together and, and the game itself become also part of this drama. Uh, zero, zero, extra, extra time. time. I was writing already 
the, 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 making the list of the penalties. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was making the list of the penalties when when we scored, so everything was was a real a real drama. It was a great goal. Yeah, it was a great goal. Lampard Drogba so many times with me, after me, and uh, they did so many, so many times such as. Can you describe the emotion of, of, of those minutes after the game was over? You've won the FA Cup. Yeah, I won the FA Cup, but it was, uh, was a complicated week for me because <laughs> I was in jail because of my dog. <laughs> you were in jail? Yeah, yeah, I was in jail because of my dog. Uh, <laughs> it's, an, it's an old story, you know. Um, the vet thought I was taking the, the dog from Portugal uh, in a private plane and without uh, all the legal situation and uh, and they sent the police to my house to take the dog I didn't let them take the dog so they, because they didn't take the dog they took me yeah. they took me uh, as an obstruction to to the justice and it was a difficult week and uh, uh, I was in, in, in that final, my family was not there because my family, they had to travel to Portugal with the dog yeah. for the dog not to go to jail, <laughs> to quarantine. So in that moment I was a bit, a bit sad because it was a, a big moment in my career, uh, probably the one with more meaning if, if, if I think about um, youth dreams. Um, and I was, I was a, bit, a bit sad, so I was in the in the dressing room and then the players were looking for me and uh, they met me in, in, in the dressing room and they and, and they brought me to the pitch. So the dog got you into jail and the drug got you out of jail. Exactly. exactly. Perfect, perfect moment. Exactly. Can, can you remember any of the cup finals that you saw when you, you were a young man? I one thing I remember for sure, which is I was almost with the with the small one. Almost. Yeah, the underdogs. Almost. Yeah. Almost with the underdogs. Um, so I, I, I remember Wimbledon, 88. I remember Wimbledon and all the, the drama of the penalty save and so on and so on. I remember, I remember that. I remember Coventry, I think yeah. Tottenham, yeah. Three. Yeah. Uh, Tottenham and obviously when the final was the big teams of the moment, big Liverpool and uh, when, when was about the big teams at the moment was double meaning was the meaning of of top top football with the with the top moment but if i would choose the one that made me enjoy really was wimbledon and um look looking ahead you've won one fa cup you'd, you'd love to add to that wouldn't you? of course yeah of course this season would be easy to say I don't care with the FA Cup because I don't play the final. <laughs> but I don't do that. I, yeah. I, I care a lot. Yeah. I care a lot. I think is, but uh, I think is is the FA Cup, but it's also Wembley. Yeah. FA Cup and Wembley. I think it's different than than um, FA Cup in another in another stadium. Uh, in Portugal, we have our old national stadium that people says, why do we play here the cup final when we have brand new stadiums, Befica Stadium, Porto Stadium. I'm one that says always in the national stadium because of, of the meaning. And in here, Wembley is, uh, is Wembley, it means a lot. Uh, you go, you see the, the arch when you are approaching the, the stadium, you go there and you feel, even being a new Wembley, you feel, you feel the, the, the history. So yes, I want to be back with Chelsea. It's the special one. Special stadium <laughs> and special Josh, competition too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great stuff. Good to see you, eh? you, see you guys. Too. Hope I help, eh? Fantastic, Joe. This is where my dream was just taken away from me. You know.